In this video, we're going to play with some of the filtering options in Excel. We're just going to cover some of the basic filters and custom filters. We're going to leave the advanced filtering for a separate video. Now in Excel, this used to be called the auto filter function. Now there are two main ways that it's easy to get started using these filtering functions in Excel. One way is to go to insert table. We're going to cover that in a future video because there are a lot of other more interesting things that you can do along with that. We're going to just do the basic quick way. And you need to find the filter button. Two ways to get to it. Under the home tab, over here under sort and filter, you can click filter. Or if you go into the data tab, you can click filter right here. I think working with it on the data tab is a little easier as you'll see in a minute because we have a couple of extra little buttons here that are helpful to have in front of us. Before we get started, if you've downloaded this data, I'm going to delete these blank columns here since they won't be useful. Just highlight by selecting A through F here, right click and go to delete. That way we can see all of our columns at once. So to get started, just click anywhere in the block of data that you want to work with and click the filter button. You see what happens here is on the top row where your labels for your data are, you have these little drop down arrows. And that's what we're going to be using to do our filtering. So for example, if we wanted to filter and just look at a certain type or a couple of different types of cars, we could click the drop down arrow. And one of the things I love about this filtering is it gives you a complete list of all of the unique items that are in that variable. Compact, large, midsize, small, sporty, and van. So if we want to look at, say, just the compact and the small cars, we can select both of those. And now those are the only cars that we're looking at. Now another really cool thing is if you go down to the very bottom, it automatically counts how many records you're looking at. And this says 37 of 93 records are either compact or small, so you don't have to count them up by hand. Now you can also add other filters on top of this. So within the small and compact cars, we could just look at ones, say, that have a certain horsepower, or we could go to number filter, and over here go to greater than, and maybe we just wanna look at the small or compact cars that have greater than 100 horsepower. Now, if we wanted greater than or equal to 100 horsepower, there's another option, is greater than or equal to 100. So let's do that, okay? And now we're looking at 21 cars, or small or compact in the data set, that have at least 100 horsepower. Another great thing about the filtering is what if I wanna make this into a new separate data set and I just wanna look at these records? What you can do is just highlight the data here with those filters on, let's add a new sheet to copy this data to. So let's hit the little plus button down here to add a new sheet. And we've got the data selected here on sheet one. We can hit control C, that's our shortcut for copy. Go to the blank sheet and control V is our shortcut in Microsoft Windows for paste. And now we've got a separate data set just listing those records. Let's go back to sheet one here. One of the reasons why I like to use this tool by going to the data tab, as you see here is a clear and reapply button. So if we wanna very quickly get rid of those filters, we can click clear and it's gone. Now another way you can do this is, let's go back to type here, click clear filter from type. So the last thing I wanna show you here is, let's look at a custom filter allows us a little more freedom in how we do it. Let's click on horsepower again, number filter, and let's go to custom filter down here at the bottom. And let's suppose that we want all the cars that have more than 100, but less than 150 horsepower. So we can do, say, greater than 100 and less than 150 horsepower, okay. And that says we have 31 different cars that are in that range above 100 and less than 150 horsepower. So as with a lot of things in Excel, just play around with it. See what options there are and see what it'll do. You're not going to break anything. And I think by playing around, that's one of the best ways to learn. Think about an interesting question, 
see if you can get it answered by using these filters. In the next video, we're going to talk about these advanced filters here and what kinds of cool things you can do with those. So I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.